strict and non-strict Nash equilibrium. So you look at the you look at this particular game first. So there are two players, player one and player two. Player one can play top bottom. Player two can play left, middle, and right. Now let us say player one is playing top. Then player two has a choice between one, zero, and one. So player two is indifferent between one and one. That is between left and right. Okay. Now player two plays left. Player one has a choice between one and minus one. Naturally, player one is going to pick up something which is going to give him more payoff. So one. So this becomes a Nash equilibrium, right? If player two would have played right, then player one has to choose between zero and one. Player one is going to choose this. That is, player one is going to choose bottom. If player one chooses bottom, player two has a choice between zero. 1, 0, player 2 is going to choose 1, that is player 2 is going to choose medium or middle. If player 2 chooses middle, player 1 has a choice between 1 and 0, player 1 is going to choose 1, that is stop. So, so the entire cycle is going to go again. So one thing which we know is that top, top left is an Nash equilibria here, 1. So the first point is that Top left is a unique Nash equilibria. But that is not the point of this video. Right. Is a unique Nash equilibria. But supposedly if you move, supposedly if player 2 is not deviating. And let us see whether player 1 deviates. Can player 1 deviate from top to bottom? So if player 1 deviates from top to bottom, player 1 is moving from 1 to minus 1. Why will player 1 actually do that? He won't. Right? Player 1 is not going to deviate from 1 to minus 1. That is from top to bottom. Because in deviating from top to bottom, given player 2 is not deviating from left, player 1 is worse off. Right? And if you look at it, in, in the other examples which we have given till now, we have looked at that in case if the player is going to deviate from the equilibrium outcome, he will be worse off. But Nash equilibrium definition doesn't require only that. So there are so many things going on here. Let me write the line first and then I'll explain further. Please write. Here. Here. Deviation. By a player leads to an outcome worse for that player, worse for that player. Than the equilibrium outcome. Than the equilibrium outcome. Right. Uh, but do you think Nash equilibrium definition requires this? No. Nash equilibrium definition just requires this. That, that if you are deviating from the equilibrium outcome. The person should not be better off than the equilibrium outcome. He can have the same payoff, but he is not necessarily better off. Because if he is better off, he will deviate to that outcome. Nash equilibrium doesn't require that if you deviate, you have to be necessarily worse off. That is not what Nash equilibrium requires. Uh, note that. Uh, sorry, the deviation. If it is silico, note that the definition of Nash equilibrium requires.
only that. The outcome of a deviation be no better off for the deviant for the deviant for the person who is deviating for the deviant than the equilibrium outcome Definition does not require this, that. If you deviate, you should be necessarily worse off. No, 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 no. Definition just requires this, that if you deviate, you should be uh, not better off. Right? So, can we change it a little bit? Huh? So, for example, and then I'll tell you after that, what exactly is the strict and non-strict Nash equilibrium? So, right. So, if you look at it carefully, what is it that we have done? <clears throat> Everything else is same, but here, when player one plays bottom and player two is going to play left, the payoff of player 1 is 1, not minus 1. Now, can I assume this, that you can get that, yes, top left is going to be the Nash equilibrium. Okay, let me not assume that. Player 1 plays top. So, player one, player 2 can play between left, uh, medium, left, middle and right. So, it will be indifferent between left and right. So, if player 2 plays left, player 2, sorry, player 1 has a choice between 1 and 1, he is indifferent. Right. So, one, this is an Nash equilibria, definitely. Yeah. Okay. If player two plays right, player one is has a, player one has a choice between top and bottom. Player one is going to choose this. Player one chooses bottom. Player two has a choice between left, middle, uh, left, middle, and right. Player two is going to choose middle. If player two chooses middle, player one has a choice between top and bottom. Player two is going. To, player one is going to choose top. So. And again, the entire cycle is going to go on, right? Now you look at it. So again, here, even in this game, top left is the Nash equilibrium. But now when player two, uh, player, when player two is sitting at left only and player one deviates, can player one deviate? I mean, he is not going to deviate, but the reason here is different. He is not going to deviate because it is not a profitable deviation. He is getting the same payoff at bottom what he is getting at top given player 2 is playing left. So there is no reason for him to deviate. It is not a profitable deviation. This deviation does not make him better off. Neither it is going to make him worse off. But the Nash equilibrium definition just requires this that he should not be better off. That is it. Right? Uh, so, if player 1 deviates to bottom, right, uh, she is no better off. So, if she is no better off, it is not a profitable deviation provided provided player 2 is choosing left. Player 2 is choosing left. Right. So, here in this case, we will say that yes, TL is a Nash equilibria, but it is not a strict Nash equilibria because in this, by deviating to some other outcome, 
the payoff of the player is not necessarily worse off. It is just not better off. Huh? So, Nash equilibria L is not a strict equilibria. Is not a strict equilibrium. You with me, Buddha? Huh? Jab yaha pe when player one is deviating from top to bottom, he is not better off. Uh, she is not better off. But in case if player two, uh, in case if player one would have deviated in this game she, from top to bottom, she is necessarily worse off. So here in this case, this is a strict equilibrium, right? This is a strict equilibrium where deviation would result in an outcome which is necessarily worse off than the equilibrium outcome. But in the non-strict equilibria, the deviation is going to result only in no better off than the equilibrium outcome. So this is what it is. Right? This is what it is. Are you with me, Buddha? Thank you.